Give y'all a little time to get off in here. Eat my ice from my mukbang. I haven't changed my description. I just changed the title. Oops. <laughs> Yes, I have to change the description after the video. Because you can't change it during the video. So let's get into this haul. This bag got the nice, some nice stuff in it. All these bags got nice stuff in it. So, as y'all know, I'm going to redo my bedroom soon. This month, probably next weekend. I'm probably going to do it. So I went to Home Goods yesterday. And if you haven't saw, excuse me, Belgian from that mukbang. If you haven't saw my video, my Home Goods shop with me video that I put up this morning, go go watch that after this to see when I was shopping and buying this stuff yesterday. Last night I went shopping and bought this stuff, but I bought some stuff for my bedroom. Is anybody here? Let me put it on live chat because this thing be tripping. It always goes to the top chat, then I can't see people. Okay. I didn't send a notification. Somebody will be in here in a second. Let me see what I can show that people might not care too much about. Oh, this is 18. This one better be. I don't know. There's something wrong. I think they charged me $24.99 for this. That was supposed to be eighteen dollars. These panels. I'm gonna find that because I thought I saw twenty four ninety nine on that register. I'm like, why did they say two panels twenty four ninety nine? When I know it said uh, eighteen dollars on clearance, so I'm gonna look at my receipt because I might be taking. Or maybe it was this. Hopefully, it's this that came up as a uh, twenty four ninety nine. I don't know, but I'm gonna check my receipt because uh, this regular price on this is twenty four ninety nine, but this was not supposed to be twenty four ninety nine. So yeah, she. I might be taking that back if they run that up from the front and then give me my if I've been eighteen dollars, which is six, six, seven dollars, six ninety nine. I might be I might be old. My receipt should be in one of these bags. Matter of fact, and I'm gonna check it because uh yeah, if you owe me some money. Home goods, y'all gonna give me my six ninety nine because I don't pay about my money, y'all. That's one thing I don't play about. Shoot. I'm going to find that receipt. I'm going to find it. I'm going to take these things up and be like, look here. Look at here, look at here, look at here. Boy, look at here. Y'all going to fix this. Where is my receipt? It ain't meant for me to find it right now, y'all. It is not meant for me to find it right now. That's all right. When I find that receipt, it better not say that they charged me $24.99 for that. It's supposed to be on clearance for $18. They're going to give me my six ninety nine. dollars That's what they're going to do. That's what they're going to do. I, I'm going to find that receipt. I'm going to find it. But Antoine Dotson said, Antoine Dotson said, we're going to find you. We're going to find you. We're going to find this receipt. Oh, y'all. Oh, y'all. But duh. Is it in here? That's, no, that's the credit card crap. I signed up for the credit card trying to get discounts and stuff. But that's not my receipt. That is not the receipt. But I'm going to find it. Maybe the receipt is in my purse that I had yesterday. I don't know. I don't know where my people are. Shoot. Come on now, people. Where y'all at? Where my peoples is at? Where my peoples is at? Where my peoples is at? <laughs> y'all know that song. I can't even remember who sung that song. One of them rappers, Keith Murphy, somebody. May they rest in peace. I think he Mur Keith Murray, dad, too. Anyway, well, I guess I'll do this haul to the blank page. Then no one's here. And y'all was just here. Y'all went to bed. Y'all ain't go to bed. It's only seven something. Dag on it. Y'all want to see the mukbang and not my haul? There you go. You here? What's wrong with this stupid? It says zero people. Oh, now it says one. I was gonna say it says zero people. It's probably two people in here now, and it's saying one. But anyway, YouTube sucks. Now that I got somebody in here. I'm gonna put show you Terry. But I think they overcharged me for one of my own. Um, 
Yeah, you the best student, Terry. For this, well, I'll show y'all which one because I saw twenty four ninety nine on that register, and I just wasn't thinking at the time. I'm hoping that they didn't, but I think they did. And they're supposed to give me. I'm taking it back. If it's supposed to be uh, eighteen, it's eighteen dollars on clearance on the box. But if they charge me twenty four ninety nine, but it shouldn't have been because she should have scanned this. But if she scanned the front of this and not the price tag, then it could have said twenty four ninety nine. People need to pay attention to their workplaces. If it says a clearance tag on the back. I'm gonna stop fussing about it because maybe I was seeing things. Maybe I was seeing things. I think they charged me $24.99 and she owed me $6.99. I'm gonna find that receipt. Oh, I feel like going down here. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna <laughs> go right here and find this purse. This purse is sitting right here. See if my receipt is in there. I thought it was in, I thought I put the receipt in the bag. But none of these bags have a receipt in them. So I must have put it in the purse or my coat pocket, which is down there too. Because I wanna know. If they charge me for something that they shouldn't have charged me, I don't play about my money, y'all. It is not in there. And I think he, what is this? That's not it. Maybe he's forgetting the bag. Because this should be either in one of these bags. Lorel's there another home goods bag. Make sure that's not another home goods bag. Because I think there is another home goods bag because I can't find my receipt. I don't think you bought me all the home goods bags. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. It was two little bags. You only bought one. I know I had two. I, I bought two little bags. What did you put This one was, this is empty. What was in it? Oh, that was in it. But I think there's another bag, Lorel, because my I receipt just, is not, I ain't seen my receipt. Look at me. I'm over really tripping about this receipt. <laughs> I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna get my 699 because I think she charged me for that daggone. I think she did. It ain't in here. Anyway, on to the haul. I'm stop stressing. It's seven minutes in and I need I'm stop stressing about this stupid receipt about this 699, but I'm I'm gonna get my 699 back if they overcharge me. But I got these cute oh, oh no. Oh no, people. Oh my gosh. Hey Deborah. Now, why would they? Yeah, your little glue didn't work too good on you. Look at that. That was a big blooper. A big freaking blooper. Can't take bloopers out on live. At least they didn't break. They did not break. I know to hold them right. To, ow. Ow. Anyway, these are knobs <laughs> for my vanity because if you saw my um, room makeover when I painted my room, when I did, not I didn't paint my room, but when I painted my bed, when I painted that, it's one of the first makeover DIY videos I did on this channel back in March of 2017. Then you saw that I did have knobs then, and I put them on my vanity, and now all four of those knobs are broken. And I paid a lot of money for them knobs at uh, at home, garden ridges, with whatever. At home is what it's called now. But I paid like what did I pay like 1999, I think. For them, or either ten dollars for four knobs, and them stupid things broke off in in less than two years. They broke off like some of last year. They one by one, they was breaking off just trying to open the daggone drawers on the vanity. So now I ain't got to worry about it because I got twelve. So four, it's only four knobs needed for the vanity. So I got three sets. So I got three sets of knobs. If these break, I got more to just put it on there. Take them off, put them on. Take them off, put them on. So these are. The, the knobs I'm going to use to replace those knobs, those nice little knobs I had on my vanity that broke just from trying to open the stupid thing. So, yeah, they're going there. And these were only $12.99, which is not bad for freaking 12 knobs. I paid less for these than I did for the four knobs I got it at home. Home goods, I'm trying to tell you. Put it back. Put it back in the bag. Then I got some candy. I got some candy, y'all. I got some candy because it was Christmas candy and it was $2. It was half off. All the Christmas stuff was half off. They had a whole bunch of candy. I put uh, all kind of chocolate. They had all kind of stuff. Popcorn. I got popcorn. He didn't bring that in here. And that's probably the bag it was in. The bag with the popcorn was in. Bring that popcorn. The popcorn. So I can show what little's left. But yeah, this was two dollars. I love a uh, strawberry, strawberry uh, strips, sugar strips, strawberry. What are they called? I just call them straw strawberry strips. Yeah. And the bag that this was in, look and make sure there ain't no receipt in that bag. It's in there on the counter. 
it was you ate the fourth bag. This thing has six bags of popcorn. No, no, you ate another bag. It was four bags in there today. I gave Shafar one bag. Is it open? Okay, so put it in here. Try to at least show four of the bags. Try to at least show four of the bags that's in here. But it was in here. He's gonna already took the bag out before he bought it back here. I'm like, well, you better put one of the, at least one of them bags back in. This was a Christmas of popcorn set. That was all the Christmas stuff, like I said, was half off. This is a regular twenty dollar set. It has six bags of different kind of little popcorns. Like this is chocolate caramel crunch. That looks good, and that's what he's trying to eat now. Uh. I already showed it. I was just showing it. I wasn't eating it. Go on and eat it. He can try to eat it. And then you got sea salt and caramel crunch. And you got what's this? White cheddar cheese. And this is kettle corn, I think. Yeah. Sea salt kettle corn. So pretty cool. And um, the other one is a Chicago mix, which is cheddar cheese and caramel. You know, like um, what is it? Jared Garrett's one of those those uh the popcorn place in the Chicago. I think never remember name. Not Harold. Garrett. Garrett popcorn. <coughs> so I had that mixed with cheddar cheese and the caramel. I gave it to Siobhan at church today. I gave her that bag because we go Chicago and stuff together. And then uh the other bag I don't know because he ate that before I even could <laughs> see what it was. But it was six bags, six bags this size in here, and it was regular price nineteen ninety nine, and it was half off Christmas stuff. So since this was Christmas, I got it for ten dollars. I got it for ten dollars or nine ninety eight. And then I got this because it's just one of those things you walk past and it catches your eye. This is linen freshener. So I'm like, oh, when I take my stuff off the bed, I'm spraying my bed, and, and it's lavender. And you know, lavender. Lavender and chamomile is supposed to make you relax. It's aromatherapy. And it was only $5.99 for this big bottle. So this bottle will last forever. Yeah, $5.99. I said, I have to get that. So it's called relax. And I need to relax. And it smells good. Lavender always it smells like kind of like a man to me. <coughs> but I like using lavender because in the summertime, it keeps mosquitoes away. I looked that up and researched that. So I always have lavender hand soaps in the bathroom in the summertime, maybe some lavender hand lotion because lavender mosquitoes do not like lavender. So that'll be great to spray on the bed. In case any mosquitoes get in here, they won't come on my bed. But it also makes your bed smell smash. Lavender and chamomile and helps you relax. So that's a cute. That one, that's a lot for $5.99. That's, I was like, oh, I got to get that. That'll last forever. I don't even know how long. Years, probably. Then I got this stuff. So this, the colors I'm trying to go for, like it was going to be emerald green, but I couldn't really find an emerald. So it's teal, which I like teal. Teal green, teal's cute. So I got this because this was 50% off because see what it says. It says harvest. So it was a Christmas pillow. Oh, it's so big and so comfortable. It's, it's, what is that? Velvet? Yes, it's velvet. Yes, it's velvet. I think it looks like velvet. Maybe it's another <laughs> fabric, but it looks oh plumes. Plume, what that's, that's Spanish. Where's the English? Oh, it has feathers on the inside. That's why it feels so good. That's fat, one hundred percent feathers. Ooh, this this is such a comfortable little pillow. So this is down. And isn't feathers down? Same. Um, Rodeo Home. That's the brand. But yeah, consistent of one hundred. Percent feathers. The outside has to be velvet. Oh, cover is 100% polyester. Filling is 100% feathers. And this was on clearance for seven bucks. Seven bucks. Because it was half off. So I guess it was regular price 14 during Christmas time. I got it. So I guess harvest is like talking about Christmas stuff. But to me, it's religious. Harvest. Reaping my harvest. 2019, I'm trying to reap my harvest. Reap all that God has for me. So I love that. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is, what, this is what harvest means for me. It ain't got nothing to do with the crops. It got to do with my crops, my personal crops, my personal blessings. So, yeah, I'm trying to reap in the harvest God promised me. Take back what the devil stole from me. And I rejoice today. I shall recover it all. <laughs> And I rejoice today. 
I shall recover it all. Yeah, recover it all. That's what 2019 is about me. To, to, to me, harvest. I'm going to reap my harvest. So this is the co color that I'm going for. It's like, it's this teal, teal green. And then I was like, well, I need some small because the set that I got, I'm going to show y'all that, the comforter set, it comes with um, decorative pillars. So I got this. Because I, the back of the pills are all white, but I said I gotta have some kind of green or blue or green, some kind of close to teal. And this is close to the teal. I'm trying to do the bling. That's why I gotta have the sequence. I'm I'm going to get some sequence curtains eventually, but I gotta order those online. Um, so right now I just bought some curtains that was on clearance. They're teal green though. But see, I'm trying to see. I want these on the silver side. And you gotta go. You know, y'all know how these pillars are. Play with y'all know y'all play with them every time y'all go in the store, Walmart, Home Goods, at home, any store that has these pillows. Y'all know y'all play with them, <laughs> but yeah, and you know where I found them. Look at this, I found these in the kids section. But hey, you gotta do what you got. They didn't have any little pillows in the adult section. I said I just need two small pillows, and their hearts because I'm trying to be all about love and real love, friendship, love. Well, if real love, other love comes, then it comes. But it's just love, love of God is main. Love of self. I told you I was about love of self this year. Learning to love myself for real. So I got two of these. They were five ninety nine. They were in the kitty section at Home Goods, but yeah, five ninety nine, which is not bad. That's not bad for little sequins. These little sequins, cute little sequins pillows. Yeah, they do that stuff. You know, they actually have pictures there now. Like, they take sequins like this that does this and put it in a frame at Home Goods. They had them. And I was playing with them. People was writing high and bow on them because, you know, you can make words somehow. It's, yeah. I don't know. It's Asian or something. I just wrote. I don't know what that was. But, yeah. So, I got those pillows. And you'll see why once you get to the bed set, because my bed set is something that I've always wanted to get, but I've never had the nerve to buy it because I thought I was ruining it. But I'm a 43-year-old woman. I shouldn't ruin no nice uh, set anymore. I shouldn't spill nothing. On. I won't be doing no mukbangs on my bed, I tell y'all that. Won't be no more of that once I get this, this sheet set on my bed. I tell you that. Because ain't nothing else going on in here. <laughs> but some mukbangs. <laughs> ain't nothing going on but the rent. <laughs> Okay, not the rent. Ain't nothing going on but the mortgage. <laughs> so then I got, look at this. Look at this. This is like a fur coat or something. Don't, look at this. Can y'all see the beauty? Can y'all see the softness? The adorableness? The Oh, this is so comfortable. Just look, look at this, y'all. Just look at it. Just get into this. This is so beautiful. And just so, oh, it's a teddy bear. It's just awesome. It's by Berkshire. Berkshire. And it, it something. What does it say? Oh, Berkshire Gallery Fur. The look and touch of luxury. And it's 50 inch by 60 inch. But this is just, oh my gosh. This right here is adorable. And it was only $24.99. And this is what's going to go on top of my comforter. Like I'll, you know, stretch it out, put it diagonal, put it some kind of way. I'll figure all that out once I get to Stalin. But this is, oh my gosh, this is, I want to have to sleep underneath my comfortable I, comforter. I could just sleep underneath this. Yeah, he will. He's here too. I think he, I think he just woke up. I'll bring him in here if he's up. I don't know if he's up or not. But if he's not woke up, I'm not going to wake him up. I don't want him being grumpy. And so I ended up getting these panels, which were not in the video, I don't think. I don't think I showed y'all that, but I told y'all I put the gray gray ones back because I said I don't want gray on gray again like I did here. Gray on gray. No, I don't want that again. I want different. I want so this is white, but as you see, just look at the glitz and the can y'all see the little silver details? Yeah, to see. Yeah, that's, that's the little bling and that the little silver details. So I got two of these, and these were $14.99 for two panels. Y'all see that price? Yeah. $14.99 for two panels. And they're by Danity Home. No, Dainty Home. Dainty Home. Light filtering. 76 inch by 84 inch long. 76 inch wide, 84 inch long. And it's two panels. Two panels. So I'm put one right here like I have this sheer one right here. And one over there on that window. So that's how. 
that's gonna go. And then I got this. This is the one I was. Been, I, this is the one I was complaining about at the beginning of the video, saying I think she charged me twenty four ninety nine instead of eighteen dollars. So I'm gonna check my receipt, and if so, I'm gonna take this back and show her this was on clearance for eighteen, buddy. I want my six ninety nine. Put that back on my car. Put my six ninety nine back on my car. But these are nice, nice. And I guess they was eighteen dollars because the box is open, or maybe somebody returned them and didn't like. I don't know. Let's see, eighteen. But then the regular price is twenty four ninety nine. But that's all right, cause I'm gonna take it back and get my six ninety nine if my receipt does not say eighteen dollars. Cause for some reason I looked at that register and I thought it said twenty four ninety nine two panels. So yeah, we are gonna find out if it was for this or for these poles I got down there. It better not been for this. But this feels nice. And this is a teal, teal curtain. And it even says teal, so I know what I'm talking about, y'all. Teal. But this is a Lancaster woven blackout, blackout curtains. So that keeps all light and stuff out and all that on um, wherever the side that I put that on. So I'll have one of these on each window and one of these, just like how I have two curtains here now. So it's gonna be like that. One of those and one of those beside each other. That's gonna be my window treatments. But that's not it for the windows. I finally broke down and got me some nice rods. My rods was okay, but they were Dollar General rods and they're gold when I should have silver. So they're gold. So I finally got me some silver blinged out rods. And here they go. Yeah, it wasn't these because these are $29.99. So yeah, she gonna give me my the home goods gonna give me my six ninety nine pack. I know they charge me twenty four ninety nine for that. And not eighteen dollars. But look at that. Twenty nine ninety nine. And these two, look at them. Look at these. How beautiful are these rods? They're silver with a little gold and silver tin. No, that's silver. Not even gold. They look a little silver bling. And these can go for big windows or small windows, but I have the small windows, so I'm just gonna use the small size. But I thought they were adorable. They have the, the little bows on both sides, the little blinged out bows. For $29.99, get two rods. Instead of getting one rod for $20 or $17 for one, I got two. Knocked them out in one, one bang. And then, last but not least, I think it's last but not least. Yeah, last but not least, this is the comforter. The comforter set that I chose. Yeah, I did. So this is the comforter set that I chose. Look at this. This is what I've been wanting to get comforters in forever. A white set, like a hotel. So it looks like a hotel. So it looks luxurious, but I never trusted myself to get a white set. But now I said I'm 43 years old. I'm single, so I ain't gonna worry about that part. And I don't plan on mingling no time soon until I get a ring on it. Make it solid this time. But ninth and M is the brand, I guess. It's queen size. Anusha is the staff. And it's an eight piece set. Look at all these decorative. It has a sheet set with it, does it? Well, it says one comforter, two pillow shams, two euro shams, one embroidered square cushion, one square cushion. And one breakfast cushion. So, hmm. Oh, those are the pillowcases on pillows. So you get three decorative, three decorative pillows, and then two euro shams and two regular sham, and then the comforter. Yeah, I don't have sheets, but the sheets I'm gonna use are the sheets that I thrifted. And then see this. This is what is that? Oh, it's the shams. Duh, it says euro shams, right there. And these are the pillows, and they busted open. It busted open. It had to bust open. Because it wasn't open when I bought it. I must have busted it. I don't know. Because it was not. Because I would not have gotten it. That's all right. It's okay. It survived. It's in one piece. It's going to go in the dryer before it goes on my bed. Because, yeah. Make sure ain't nothing. Try to crawl up in it in the store. None of that. None of that. But yeah. This And this was only... $59.99 with all that nice stuff in it. Look how nice it looks. It's going to look like a little hotel bed. So that's why I got the white and then I'm going to lay this across this. Lay that across it. Ooh, it's going to be cute, y'all. It's going to be cute. That's going to be cute, y'all. 
So that's that. And that's all the bedroom stuff that I got. Um, I forgot, all, like I told you, I forgot the wall hanging stuff, but I'm going to get that because I want blinged out wall hangings. I want these pictures of Paris down. I want the butterflies and the words, love and left are gone. I want that little wine picture that's over there. I want that champagne picture. It's a beautiful champagne picture that somebody took in, in a place in Lexington. It's beautiful, but it's got to go. And yeah. Or I can just paint the frame on that. Paint the frame silver. Might be what I do. Paint the frame silver on that picture because it's a beautiful picture. I love that little picture, but I want some bling, 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 bling in here. And I'm going to get a, some kind of bling that clock. Put Take that clock down it's over. Y'all can't, can't see it. It's just a Dollar Dreamer clock. I'm going to take, yeah. It's going to be some new backgrounds for y'all. And then, and like I said, this this curtain is just temporary. This one right here, it'll be for like winter or whatever. But when it starts getting towards spring, I'm going to go on and I'm going to buy me some sequins. I'm going to get some sequins curtains. Hopefully I can find some teal sequence i couldn't see nothing like that the other day they were like a mint green they had mint green and they had other stuff but they didn't have emerald or like a teal green but hopefully i can find um some teal sequence curtains by the time spring's rolling around a little bit and i could change it out for my change these change that those out those thick curtains it's been warm it was warm here today like spring it was like probably 70 degrees and it cooled down Around five or six, it cooled down, but it was it's not been winter weather here, and I'm loving that it's not. Was it warm like at Nicholsville uh, today, Terry? It was warm here in Lexington. I was like, wow. I, when I sat like this, just the sweater and my tights and my skirt, I did not have to wear no coat today. I had a coat on yesterday, but I really didn't have to wear a coat, but I'm one of those people that wear a coat anyway because I don't want to get sick because where I take Jelenia, that my, my MS medicine, it makes my immune system weaker. So I don't want to take chances of trying to get sick. But yeah, you burned up. Yeah, I had to put the windows down in the car. I had my windows down driving today in the winter time because it was hot. This it, we, I didn't have church at 1.30. So I left at the house about 1.30 because I was late. Y'all seen I was on that uh, premiere of the Home Goods video. I probably left at the house about 1.40. So it might have been about 1.30, 1.40. But it was hot. I was like, it's hot. I got to roll my windows down. Cut this heat off in this car. Shoot. Had my sunglasses on. I said, ooh, this is a beautiful day. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? <laughs> always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in the neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, could you be mine? Would you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you be? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor? Hi, neighbor. <laughs> the stuff you remember is from a kid to a dog. Oh, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Mm-mm-mm. But yeah, it was beautiful. It was a lovely day today. I hope we keep having these kind of days. I don't want to see winter. Winter can just stay gone till spring. That's what it can do. It's not, not, not until spring. Winter can stay gone until winter of 2019. That's what I'm saying. Not the beginning winter of 19. Till December of 2019. No winter. Just go straight to spring, straight to summer, straight to fall. Then go back to winter. But we already had winter this year. It's done. We don't need no more snow, no more cold. 71 degrees in Texas. It's always warm in Texas. Oh, you said Mr. Robinson's neighborhood with Eddie Murphy. Yeah, that was funny. Oh, Eddie Murphy used to have some funny stuff on. Them old uh, Saturday Night Lives was funny. I used to, we used to always reenact them uh, Alpha Alpha, uh, the three, what is it, the Little Rascal skits and stuff. You remember uh, Buckwheat's Greatest Hits? And that one, looking for nub in all the wrong places, looking for nub in <laughs> familiar faces, looking for nub, looking for nub. <laughs> that was the funny days when people didn't have to cuss every other word to be funny, even though Eddie Murphy on his last cussed every other word. Eddie Murphy raw, and that was raw. And we snuck and listened to that record as kids, too. Yes, we did. Or snuck and watch it on BET. My mama had the record. We snuck and listened when she would go work. We weren't supposed to be listening to work. We weren't supposed to listen to Rob, but hey, it was funny. And it was Goonie Goo Goo. And that was what, what the uncle's wife, that's all she could say was Goonie Goo Goo. He said she was like a Sasquatch. <laughs> oh, Lord. I need the sweater. I can't even remember the sweater. 
I don't, I don't even remember what sweater he had. Oh, he's my Mr. Rogers sweater. I might have a sweater that looks like Mr. Rogers. Oh, yeah, because he had he, yeah, he had to hang the sweater up on the door. Mr. Robinson's uh, sweater. Uh-uh-uh. You slapped your head on the seat. <laughs> oh Lord. At the theater. What was you at the theater? Oh, it raw. Oh, you was you at the actual comedy show? You went to that? Oh, uh, yeah, Mr. Rogers sweater. That's what I said. I, I probably got some cardigans close to it, close to his sweater. What? So you you actually saw went to the see it? That's pretty cool. You was seventeen. You wasn't old enough to see that, was you? you should be eighteen. How would you have to be to see that? I thought you would have to have been eighteen to see that. It's a habit pulling my hair. Yeah, you had would have had to. He cussed too much. I like the uh, and then he's talking about the the ghetto burgers <laughs> and he, or the what was it? The ice cream, the ice cream truck. That was the funniest thing because I we used to do it. I'll tap tease the people. You, I got some ice cream and you can't afford it because your mama's on welfare and you can't afford it. <laughs> I got some ice cream, some ice cream. Then his ice cream fell off the cone, <laughs> and then they laughed at him. And they said they was going to get some McDonald's, and he went and told his mama he wants some McDonald's, and then she gave him the ghetto burger, the big greasy ghetto burger, and come out there with that big <laughs> greasy ghetto burger, talking about it. They was like, hey, no McDonald's. Hey, but them home cooked burgers was way better than anybody's McDonald's. I loved them. I loved it when my mom cooked some hamburgers, boy, and some French fries, boy. That was one of the best home cooked dinners out. Uh, shoot, she could make it was the hamburgers, French fries, and her version of chicken and dumplings. What I thought was chicken and dumplings for most of my life, too. I saw somebody really who really cooked soul food or Southern comfort food, and I'm like, oh, so you actually. The one lady that taught me how to cook, which was an ex-boyfriend's mom way back when I was in my early 20s, she taught me a lot about soul food. I was already knowing how to cook, but she taught me a lot more. And she was she would make old Queenie B. That's her name, old Queenie B. Well, may she rest in peace. She taught me how she could throw down in the kitchen, Queenie B. I, um, but she would make chicken it up. And she's like, no, what you do is you got the chicken broth, you got your broth boiling, and you, you know, you make your homemade little you go roll it out, roll it out, cut it in those little triangles, and then you drop it in the broth. And that's how you have the chicken and dumplings. I said, oh, all this time, my, I thought my mama's stuff was chicken and dumplings. I'm call, We called it chicken and dumplings because she called it chicken and dumplings. She would take chicken, bake chicken, and break it up. She would bake it, then take break it up, put it in some broth, put like some kind of gravy or something in there. And she would take biscuits. My mom would take biscuits out of a can of biscuits. You know, you pop those cans with a spoon, open them up. She would get the biscuits out of a can of biscuits, lay them on top of the chicken and all the potatoes and all everything she done put down in there. Lay the biscuits on top of that and then put that in the oven. Those biscuits would cook up real nice. And you have softness on the bottom where the gravy and all that chicken's on the bottom. So we would eat that. We thought that was chicken and dumplings because that's what she called it. <laughs> Like it is not chicken and dumplings. That's what pop pie almost. But that's what she called chicken and dumplings. So all that time, I was like, all this time, I thought that was chicken and dumplings. And chicken and dumplings is more kind of like a soup almost. But the real one, I mean, I like it either way. I like the real ones with the broth, and then you add it all that, you add the chicken and all that in there. I like them that way, where you drop them in the, in the broth like they do down south. And I also like it with the biscuits uh, cooked on top. But I ain't made chicken and dumplings. I ain't never made them. I don't think I used to make it with the biscuits because on top, then I stopped when I took my cooking break to spend a while. But I'm, I told you I'm gonna start cooking again. But shoot, I used to love. I went. I was. Well, she. My mom went on welfare, but that's what you call them welfare burgers. I used to love that boy. Fried up in good burgers. Put them on that good old bun and get your lettuce and tomatoes and you get some home cooked fries. Boy, them home cooked French fries wasn't nothing like it. Got them home cooked fries. Put your little salt and pepper on there. Tear them up. That was the best, one of the best meals. One of the best meals. Because the funny thing is, when I was a kid, I don't know if it's like, if other kids was like it, my taste, because your taste buds change every five years. When I was a kid, I, I didn't like the stuff that I like now. So all the soul food and all, I didn't like that as a kid. Like, I, I like fried chicken. I, because mom was, she would cook it okay. But I liked it okay. But like, as 
still today, I only like breast meat and wings. White, I only like white meat. I will eat legs, but I don't like thighs or backs. I don't like thighs or backs. I don't like chicken liver. I I will eat gizzards. But yeah, she was like, I would eat chicken, fried chicken, but I didn't like greens. I didn't really mess with green beans too much. I, they was okay. I didn't like spinach. I didn't like nothing. It's a key brown beans. I wouldn't eat nothing. I was a picky eater. Now I love everything. I love everything. I make some collard greens, some mixed greens, some whatever greens, some spinach dip, whatever. I'm going to eat everything now. Shoot. I love it all now. Only thing I don't halfway like now is Brussels sprouts. I don't like Brussels sprouts. They disgusting. I ain't, that's one thing I didn't like as a kid, and I still don't like as an adult. Brussels freaking sprouts, no sir. Yeah, that was her version of chicken and dumplings. She was proud of her chicken and dumplings. And see, my mom was a chef at the restaurant. She first she was a chef at Marriott, and then she was a cook at Fiesta Bravo, which was a Mexican restaurant in West Virginia. Then she was a cook at Chi Cheese. Y'all yeah, remember Chi Cheese? You know, they still have a Chi Cheese in Belgium. It tripped me out. I had to take a picture in front of it. It was in the mall in Belgium. A Chi Cheese. I didn't even go in there and eat. I, did, I was doing so much. I didn't even go. I was wanting to mean to go back there and eat. But they have a Chi Cheese in Belgium. And we don't even have a Chi Cheese. I don't know if we have any Chi Cheese left in the United States. Chi Cheese was the bomb. She worked at Chi Cheese. She worked at Fiesta Bravo, which was a West Virginia restaurant, which was a Mexican restaurant, too. Yeah, she was a cook. And it. When she got older, she just became a maintenance woman at UK and did that for the rest of her life. Was a maintenance worker in UK. She didn't try to devil into the cooking much more. But when we were smaller, she did because she was a chef and a cook. So I believed that that was chicken and dumplings because she had been a chef and a cook. <laughs> but she wasn't in a soul food kitchen. <laughs> so, hey, my great grandmama, she was the soul food, food queen. My great grandmama, Amanda, boy, she throw down. She could, you had to be, you had to make sure you asked her what it was because it would look good and smell good. She got me one time. She never got me the other times because we would look at it. Like on Thanksgiving, she'd be putting oysters and stuff. They loved oysters in, in their dressing. I was like, I want those dressing without the oysters. I don't even want the food with that. And then she she would do, cook turtle. She would cook uh, frog legs and frog. Mm. And squirrel and all that. Boy, she cooked all that. My uncles, my uh, great uncle and my granddaddy, they liked that stuff. They ate that stuff. I would not. I was picky. I was fooling with it. And she knew I was picky. So she tricked me one time. I went to, came from college. This was when I was in college. When I was in my, like, I was probably about 20, 19 or 20. I came back from college one weekend. And she was like, hey, baby, you come to eat. She wanted people, every time you go to her house, you had to eat. You know the people that throw down in the kitchen every time you go to their house, you got to eat. So she was one of them people. You had to eat every time you that you went to her house. And she would be like, hey, baby, you want some to eat? She's like, I got some uh pot roast in there. I was like, ooh, I'm, yeah, because everything she cooked was the bomb because she threw down in the kitchen. So I just didn't want to try that with other animals. I, I wasn't fooling with them. I don't care how good they were. I didn't fool them other animals. That's disgusting. So she tricked me. I was turning it up. I was like, ooh, this is some good roast beef. I was like, it's the best roast beef I ever had. I was like, ooh, what did you do to this roast beef, Granny? And she smiled. And she was like, um, that's not roast beef. I was like, what? She was like, it's deer meat. I was like, oh, no, you got me. <laughs> and she was laughing. She thought that was the funniest thing. She got me, y'all. To there saying that was roast beef, and it was deer meat. But it tastes like the best roast beef ever. I thought I was even, I was like, this is the best roast beef ever. It was nice and tender and just good, flavorful. I said, oh, man, you guys said, oh, well, I already ate some now. Might as well go get another plate. <laughs> she laughed. I said, I can't believe you got me. She never, she never would get me before on stuff. I would always know what it was. So I guess y'all kind of see how I get my sense of humor. It runs in the family. Yeah, my granny, she lived to be 91, I think. She lived to be 91 years old, my great-grandmother. Yeah, she was tripping. She could throw down in the kitchen. And she had the biggest heart ever. And she fished. She fished all the time. That's where my granddaddy got it from. He passed away on a boat fishing, doing what he loved. He loved to fish. And he didn't even know he had a heart problem. And he passed away on a boat. Day before my 21st birthday, I think. It was my 21st birthday, 21st or 22nd. Yeah, they got a phone call that he passed away, but it was, I mean, it's, it's nice to die doing what you love to do. Nobody wants to die, but if I have to die, I would love to die doing something that I love to do. 
So that's what was the theme of his uh, funeral was gone fishing. And it was funny. I mean, it wasn't funny. It was nice because the it was a family that lived where he where he was on the boat. Like he was on the boat with my uncle and my great uncle. And it was him, I think. And they were out there. It was just fishing because that's what they did. They would go on the weekends, go fishing, do what they do. Just they just that's how they relax. That's how they and he he had I don't know if he just passed out of his Chester. I don't know. I just know he had a heart attack and they put it so they bought the boat in, put him on the shore, put him on the the grass or whatever, and they was in somebody's yard, and the people from the house ran down there, and they tried to do CPR on them. They tried to help. Those people was at the funeral. They didn't even know my granddaddy. It was a nice little family. They came to the funeral. They was broken down like they knew him. They said, we could just tell he's a great man, and it, it's by all the people that affected here. She, they was like, we tried so hard to save him. We tried so hard to save him, and they was breaking down crying. I'm like, wow. It's, am it's amazing how you can touch people that don't even know you. And it was just amazing to see the love because they, of course, they were, it was a white family. We black. And then to see that kind of love, this was back in, was this even 2000 yet? It wasn't even 2000 yet. This was the late 90s. So see that kind of love in Kentucky at that time between uh, races and stuff. I mean, that was good. That was awesome because they, I mean, they really, like, they, it was like they loved my granddad and they didn't even know him. But they loved him just, just from that interaction of trying to save his life and just seeing how he affected people. Hey, Martha. But yeah. So he just passed doing what he loved to do. Didn't even know he was sick. My granny, which is his mom, she was still alive. She lived to be 91. And, but she fished all the time. She fished probably until she was 89 years old. She would go fishing. I said, well, we, and we not carrying the family tradition. But I think some of my uncles are. They carry They just started. One of them got a boat and they going fishing and stuff. Some of my uncles carry the family tradition. But I always said, well, I need to try at least eventually to carry the family tradition of fishing. Because my granny and her, she had a best friend, her, Helen, and they, I think that was her name. Was that her name? She lived right across the street from her. And they always would go fishing too, like every other weekend, if not every weekend. But she, they lived some good lives, lived some long, good lives. Living to be 91 years old now is. That's that's a real blessing. But back then, I mean, that was people lived to be. She didn't when she passed. Probably two, two thousand and, and probably two thousand or two thousand and one might be when she passed. When she was ninety one years old, and that was some good food. So that's kind of where that's where I tell people I got that from. I said it's genetic. That's where I get my cooking from from my granny and then Queenie B because Queenie B nursed it and taught me different stuff while I was in Louisville. She, she took me in as a daughter. I dated her son for four years off and on, but she shoot, she kept me as a daughter even after my son was born. And he wasn't even at my son wasn't even Laurel ain't by his son, her son. She know that, but she wanted me to be her daughter in law. <laughs> it was so crazy, but yeah, she was the sweetest little when we had a good old time, and she would cook it up, cook it up, sweetie pass. Sweetie pass is in um Tennessee, ain't it? Memphis. I think it's in Memphis if it's still open. That's where it was. That's in Memphis, Tennessee. They were saying at the time it always had a long line, so you couldn't really get in there. I don't know how good that food is, a sweetie pie. I heard it was just okay because I knew somebody, some people that went and ate there. I don't know if my sister or my aunt ate there. I think they did. I thought they said it was just okay. But I got stories for days. But she tricked me into eating that dirty meat, y'all. I thought I was eating some roast beef, the best roast beef ever. She tricked me. She's like, I know, because I knew if I told you what it was, you wouldn't have ate it. I said, you right. <laughs> I said, you are right. Because if you would have said it was dirty meat, I would not have ate it at all. I don't even know what her son looks like. I ain't even seen her son. I've never watched Sweetie Pies. I've just seen the clips on the commercials and stuff, but I've never actually watched the show. I don't know why. I guess I just, I get tired of so many reality shows. I like funny ones like 90 Day Fiance and, and like I said, uh, Love at the Lockup. It's just like, I watch your shows to remind me, don't do this ever in your life. Now, I almost was a 90 day fiance situation. Luckily, I wasn't. It was almost going to be get to that point. I 
But luckily, he didn't allow it to go that far. That 90 Day Fiance, that's just a trip, too. That's a trip, what these people go through for visas, for green cards and stuff. Muhammad, Muhammad's wife, it's a, she's on, what, after the 90 days, she's on one of them shows. I've been trying to keep up with her, see what she's going through, because she's she's a trip. What's her name? I forgot her name. What is her name? Muhammad's ex-wife, because they divorced, they divorced now. She's really loony. She, she's a nut. I watch these shows because people they make me feel sane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Danielle. Oh, Danielle. I feel sorry for her. And she's the same age as me. I was like, nah, she does not look the same age as me. This woman looks like she's 60. She is not. And ain't nothing wrong with being 60, but being 43 and looking 60. Something wrong with that. Being 60 and looking 40, ain't nothing wrong with that. And if you're 60 and look 60, oh, well, ain't nothing wrong with that. But being 43 and looking 60, something's wrong. <laughs> something's wrong with it, though. She's slow. She, 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 didn't, she didn't come out all, right, all the way right. Something's wrong. Her kids are smarter than her. Her kids are smarter than her. And, that, and that's sad. But she just desperate for love. She desperate for love. Because she has, it was something, she went on a date or something. That's why I was trying to keep up with that show after the 90 days or whatever it is. I know it's after the 90 days. And they were showing her, like an update on her. She was going on a date or talking about she was going on a date or she was going to date this, she was dating this other guy. And her friend was like, are you sure? And something happened. I, I don't know. I like these people, poor people. Hey, what's up, Nana? I already did my little haul. Y'all got to go back and look at it. I'm just sitting here run my mouth. Run my mouth with Martha and Terry and Debbie, Deborah, and you. Running my mouth. I'm, we were talking about 90 Day Fiance, Love After Lockup. We talked about it on the previous video when I was doing the mukbang. Um, talk about soul food. <laughs> oh, but look at this, y'all. Y'all missed the hop, but look at this. I just love this. Look at this. This is my boyfriend. <laughs> His name is Teal. Say hello to Teal. Tilfer. Tilfer. That's my boyfriend, Tilfer. Oh, he's just adorable, isn't he? Isn't he adorable? He's just so cuddly. So cuddly. Where is baby Zane? Is he sleep for the night? I wanted him to come here and talk to y'all. My little bracelet came off. I love this little bracelet. But I think he's asleep for the night. This little boy is knocked out. Watch as soon as I get off here, he'll wake up. But I want him to come and say hi to y'all, but he is not. He's been asleep since we came through the door. He is asleep. Yeah, he, he don't want to talk today. He, he's knocked out. And he'll wake up as soon as I get off here. He's in the... My son's room in the playpen, or either he put him in the bed or the playpen. I told him to put him in the bed because he wakes up. He can't stand the playpen, but he, my son probably did stick him in the playpen, and he stays asleep. Oh, you said my boyfriend don't talk. That's good. You don't want him to talk too much because talk too much, they might get on your nerves, and you be like, okay, you think you know too much. Just go. Just go. I don't See, I don't need to ever lose him. I don't need to, until I decide to replace him. <laughs> Until I decide to replace them. But yeah, that's what I'm going to put across my white. Put it diagonal or something on my white bag. See this? See what I got, y'all? The ones that wasn't here when I showed it, but yeah. It's going to be nice, y'all. Once I get it all together, it's going to be nice. Well, I guess I'll let y'all people go. Maybe somebody else will do a live or maybe somebody do an upload or something. I've been talking to y'all people for two hours, probably longer than that bothering y'all. And I'm going to get off. Her. Yeah, I work for nine. Well, I, I say I work flex. Because <laughs> I'm supposed to be at work at 9 a.m. 
I get there by that 30, but we don't, it's not critical. Like yet that we'd be on time, but he would like us to be on time. My supervisor, but he's, as long as I'm there at nine 30 and stuff now, instead of being there at 10 30, 11 o'clock, because <laughs> I used to come in those times and not leave work till seven, eight o'clock. Cause I done came out late, but now at least get there by nine 30. And then I leave. If I get there at nine 30 then I get to leave at six. If I get there at 10 o'clock, then I get to leave at six 30. But if I get there at nine o'clock, then I get to leave at five thirty. But yeah, I do. I have regular work hours. I work during the day. But one of these days, maybe I work for myself. If my posh mark blows up, my YouTube blow up, then I won't have to have a regular work hours. But I don't know. I might still keep a job the whole time and just stack, 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 stack. If all that was to pop off, because you shoot, you know, if you don't have a job, that health insurance costs too much. So I might as well keep a job for the health insurance purposes. For the health insurance purposes, shoot, and my job's not that bad. It's, it was getting bad for a while, driving us all crazy. But now we all, everything's coming back together because another company bought us in March. We'll be officially with them totally. That's the third company change since I've been with them. And I've only been with them. June will be four years. But yeah, this company, just been, they sold us to a different company. The first change was just our company splitting, to, but it still was our, we just split into two different names for to Xerox Conduit. And then now it's just Avenue, Avenue Insights. That's who I work for. I guess you're not supposed to tell who you work for, people. But whoever watches this video this far, then it's 51 minutes, only live people. People just sit here live and watch that long. Maybe, but if I don't care, where I work where I work. Nobody don't know. It's not the location because the location is not called that. But yeah, so usually when I come in, I'm just coming right when I do those mukbangs and stuff. I'm usually coming right in from work. I get off work, pick up something to eat, drop off packages at Poshmark if I have. I mean, at the post office if I have any to drop off because the post office is on my way home. And so then. I come home and if I have bought food on the way home, I've do, been doing a mukbang this week. That's usually after I get out of work. So hopefully I'm going to try to get to work at um, nine o'clock tomorrow. I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to try. I try every time. I just don't seem to get it. Sometimes I make it though. <laughs> Sometimes. But the good thing about tomorrow is we have a meeting at nine o'clock, which is on the phone. So if you're on that call, then you're at work. That counts as being at work because we can work from home. So if we won't, we used to, a lot of the workers work from home, but we have to ask permission. Those three help desk people have to ask permission to work from home. But if we're on the call at nine o'clock tomorrow, then we're considered being at work. So we can be on the call and on our way to work, but it still counts as being at work because you on that conference call. But anyway, I'm glad I'm just wearing myself out. Talk, talk, talk. I'll talk forever. I ain't talking about a daggone thing. Just talking to be talking. It don't make no sense. I was trying to see. I was trying my best to wait for Baby Zane to wake up for y'all, but he just ain't trying to do it right now. So maybe I'll see him tomorrow night. He might. He might be on tomorrow night. Yeah, I'm random. That's why it's Lala B. So random, cause I am so random. <laughs> and y'all must be random too, cause y'all put up with me and my randomness and my rambling and my just whatever. And I'm sleepy too. If y'all can't tell. So, yeah. And I'm always sleeping and I'm going to lay down here and watch, find different stuff to watch, uh, different Poshmark resellers, different other, uh, Miss Philly, uh, who else I'm going to watch. I'm just finding Jamaican bloggers, watching di different stuff. I'm going to lay here and watch stuff, fall asleep, go to sleep for a couple of hours, wake up, get up and watch some more stuff. That's what I, that's what I do. That is what I do. I'm, talking about, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. And fall asleep watching something on YouTube. Wake up. Okay, let me watch this. Fall asleep. Wake up. Mm -mm. It's probably about time for Miss Philly have another. She, he probably got a she, Miss Philly. That's what I'm gonna call her. So that's the name. <laughs> he probably got a blog up or something. They he put them up every day. They put them up every day. I like watching other people thrift. I like to see what people find. But uh, thrift is anonymous. They don't usually find good stuff, like I said earlier. But they show was really popular. It's just because they're funny and they have a great sense of humor. And now all of them's about maternity shopping, thrifting, and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to see you find Louis Vuitton. I want to see you find all them, all that stuff that Miss Billy be finding and stuff, or trying to find. And it's Hadrian, it's Hadrian and stuff, the stuff he finds. 
but he finds a lot of house good stuff too. I'm like, yeah, who, who can need all that houseware? Who can need all that? They got a whole uh, closet, a garage. Like Joan, Joan got a whole garage full of all that stuff, but she got it neatly organized. To I'm gonna get my garage cleaned out, but I still ain't gonna get all that houseware stuff because I ain't gonna be changing stuff around all the time like it. Shoot, acting like a wife, no sir, <laughs> no sir. They say act like a wife so you can become a wife. <laughs> Been there, done that? Nope. Not no more. Not no more. I ain't studying what they talking about. I'm married to myself. Like that one woman that she turned 40 and she went in Ebony Magazine. They was talking about how she married herself. Married to myself. That's silly to say. I just wanted to say it because it's silly. You can't be married to yourself. You can love yourself, but you can't be married to yourself. So realize that you can't be married to yourself. So get out your attitude thinking you Miss Independent. Miss Independent, she got her own thing. Miss Independent. <laughs> I -D, what is it? I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. What you know about me? <laughs> oh, gosh. Y'all know I'm sleepy because I am tripping. Anyway, I thank y'all for watching. If y'all didn't get to see the haul, make sure you go back and see it. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't. I take my sleepy butt. Yeah, you can count on me for a few songs, especially when I'm sleepy. Especially when I'm sleepy. When I'm sleepy, it's like drunk. That's what it's like being drunk. It might as well be, especially when I got full stomach and I'm sleepy. It's like just being drunk. That's why I don't even have to drink because I just get, get half life. Hat off life and talking to y'all. If I can, if I got somebody to run my mouth to and talk to, I will talk forever, as y'all can see. <laughs> forever, ever, forever, ever. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Oh, I am for real. Never meant to make your daughter cry. I apologize a million times. <laughs> okay, let me stop. Yeah, good night. Yeah, say good night, Martha. Good night, Martha. Good night, Terry. Good night, Nana. Good night, uh, Raven, you around here somewhere. Good night, Debbie, you around here somewhere. Good night, everybody. We're going to get on off here and go look at who else we want to look at. Or go eat, go bed, go whatever, pray. Take a nap, go bed. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Hopefully you don't have none because that's a real situation. Nobody wants them things. No, 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 no. I'm not going to sing another song. I was about to say, no, 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 no. When it's really, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done for real, y'all. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> See y'all next time in the next video. Love y'all. Thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with my Looney Tune self. And be blessed and be a blessing and have an awesome week. Bye-bye, Team Random. Love y'all.